It's going to be a quiet start to what will become a stormy day for a lot of you. You know, yesterday uh, we had that first system that brushed by bringing some snow and cooling it off uh, lower than we were earlier this week. In fact, most valleys were in the 30s and 40s. In Salt Lake, we hit 37, which uh, is cold as it might have felt in the afternoon. It was actually pretty close to average for this time of year. Our normal high is 38. Our average low is 24, and we are starting out several degrees above that and just above freezing in Salt Lake at 33. Uh, we got places like Vernal, Milford in the teens. It's colder in Cedar City at 11 degrees. So uh, a lot of you need to bundle up when you head out the door. In general, we've got fair skies over much of the east, much of southern Utah, but clouds are moving into the state ahead of our next storm. And we're also getting a few light snow showers, uh, some of those in southern Davis into northern Salt Lake County. Uh, very little, if anything, in the way of accumulation on the valley floor initially but by uh, mid-morning into the afternoon, that's going to be a different story. Our next system dropping in from the northwest, leading edge of that's a cold front that will move into the north later this morning, slide into uh, the central and southern part of the state this afternoon and evening. And at ahead of that, uh, we're going to get some of the light snow initially, but again, by mid-morning into the afternoon, it'll be picking up in intensity uh, initially in the north and then spreading south. But the bulk of what we get will be over northern, central, and western Utah. By the time things wind down later this evening, there could be 6 to 12 inches of snow in the northern mountains, a few inches along the Wasatch Back, 1 to 3 in the northern valleys, including the Wasatch Front, about double that on the benches. And again, a lot of this will pile up by late afternoon into early evening and likely impact the commute. So plan ahead for that. An inch or so in southwest Wyoming, several inches potentially in the central mountains, but while snow is possible in the western and central valleys, it might just end up being anywhere from a trace to an inch. Salt Lake City, aside from the snow, will be cloudy and cold today with a high temperature that will be climbing up into the mid-30s. Upper 20s in Park City, uh, the farther south you go, as I mentioned, the lighter any of that precipitation will be, and it will become partly cloudy for you. You'll actually make it up to 44 in Moab, and near 50 degrees in St. George. It'll be in the mid 40s tomorrow, so a beautiful start to the weekend in the far south. But uh, this is just a series of storms and an active weather pattern that will stick around for the next several days. So the bigger storm, the next one anyway, will arrive Saturday night into Sunday. That will bring widespread snow, possibly even into lower Washington County by the end of the weekend. It will be sunny and hovering near 40 in St. George early next week, but by then, Morning temperatures drop all the way near 20, and then you get another chance of a few more rain and snow showers by next Wednesday. Salt Lake City, tomorrow it's going to be beautiful. It'll be off to a very cold start, otherwise partly cloudy, mid-30s. Nice break before that next storm gets here on Sunday, uh, bringing possibly heavy snow at times. We'll dry out briefly on Monday, but again, behind that storm, morning temperatures really drop all the way down into the mid-teens, and by Monday afternoon, we might not even make it out of the 20s, and then we'll get at least another few storms moving through the middle of next week, keeping some of those snow showers going Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.